That hurt, man. Why, I'm really sorry, but you did kind of walk right into me. Huh? You looking to get smacked around? Yo, what's the point of bullying someone who's not as strong as you? That's so lame. What'd you say? Who are you, huh? You got a problem? You're next, punk. No! Oh, hey, what the? I ain't got time to deal with you. Beat it. You'll regret this. Thank you so much. You saved me. No biggie. Just watch out next time. Shoot, I'm running late for the marriage meeting. Gotta hustle. My name's Riku Saito, 19. I've been working hard as a security guard, but just six months ago, I was all about that wild life. Back in high school, I was the leader of a gang called Koiwakai. I was always butting heads with Karen Aoki, the boss of the ladies gang known as Red Princess. Hey, don't make that kid cry. I'm getting the balloon, chill. Hurry up, I'll calm the kid down. Just a bit more, almost there. Got it. Whoa! <sighs> what are you doing? It, it wasn't on purpose, I swear. Anyway, here's your balloon. Don't let it go again. Thanks. Okay, problem solved. Boss, you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. You're awesome, boss. Ah, uh, boss is so kind. Even to kids. Totally awesome. Yeah, our boss is the best. The best, huh? I'm obviously stronger. Ha, huh, like you could ever beat me. Then let's settle this before graduation. Graduation? Yeah, once we graduate, you're leaving the gang, right? Let's finish this before that. All right. I'll settle these feelings, too. Huh? What feelings? If you break your promise, I'm totally gonna trick you. Boss, it's not Halloween yet. It's not trick or treat or anything, so... Who cares? I'm just really into Halloween, you know? Heh, <laughs> don't be late, you hear? It's been six months since then. We never got to settle that promise. I don't even know where she is now or what she's up to. This is the room for the meeting, huh? Here goes. What? Karen! What? Why are you here? My parents told me I had to do this. They were like, just meet her once, please. Uh, so then... You're my date? That's awesome! Huh? Why is she happy about this? Oh my, you two already chatting? M Mom! We're not getting along or anything. Wait a sec, did she just switch back to her usual delinquent style? Was I imagining things? More importantly, why the heck is he here? Well, you see, I've been friends with Riku's mom since we were students. We always thought it'd be great if our kids ended up together. Riku, you've never had a girlfriend before, so this is perfect. You can't just decide that on your own. Sorry, sorry, but wouldn't it be awful if you've never had a girlfriend? Well, I mean... Then why not give it a shot? Just one date? I don't know. Well, if it's just once... What? I... It's not like I want to do it, but if we go on one date, our parents will shut up. True, my parents have been bugging me non-stop about this. Better than getting nagged again. All right, fine. Yes, this time for sure. Huh? Did you say something? N nothing Something's definitely off with her. A few days later. The day's finally here. Can I really pull off this date with her? Sorry to keep you waiting. <gasps> She's so cute in casual clothes. Aren't you going to say anything? Uh, no, but uh, let's just go. Hey, wait up. After that, we decided to go to the movies. But of course, we couldn't agree on which movie to watch. So we ended up watching both. 
after the movie. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, the one you picked was good too. So, uh, got any other recommendations? Huh? It, it's not like I want to know your tastes or anything. What's up with her? A few hours later. The train's not here yet, huh? Y yeah. This date with her wasn't so bad. We even have similar tastes. I've got some snacks. Wanna share? Wait, are you kidding me? Obviously the mushroom one is better. What? The bamboo shoots are much better. Ugh, we're never gonna get along. Ugh, we were getting along so well, and then it all fell apart at the end. Hey Riku, how was the date? Looked like you two were having fun. Must have gone well. You were watching? Since when? Where? Glad it went well then. So, we were thinking you two should try living together. What? Karen's dad works in real estate. He can get you guys an apartment. You can't just decide that. I said one date. Are you sure? Just give it a try for a bit. No way we're living together. I mean, she would never. Oh, phone call. Hold on a sec. What? Karen's down for living together? Why the heck would she say that? Riku, are you sure you can't do it? I said no, I'm not moving in with her. Oh no, what are we gonna do, dear? We might never see our grandkids, oh my. Cheer up, hon. All right, all right, fine, I'll do it. Things moved fast after that, and the big day arrived. Why do you agree to this anyway? But what's it matter to you? Come on, let's get unpacked before it gets dark. Yeah, yeah. Guess I never apologized for bailing on her that day for the showdown. We're living together now, so maybe I should. Hey, uh, about that time, sorry, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, the mushrooms are better, too. No, I'm not talking about that. Hey, let's have mushroom dishes for dinner tonight. I'll make it for you. Huh? You're cooking? Yeah, I can cook, too, you know. A few hours later. Well, how's it taste? It's good. <laughs> Feels nice to be complimented. Man, she can be cute. Living together, we found out we had more in common than we thought. Same favorite anime, same foods, similar hobbies. We stopped arguing as much. Should I just let that promise go? Bringing it up now seems pointless. She doesn't seem bothered. One day... <laughs> Ugh, my head's killing me. Think you can eat some porridge? Y yeah Here comes the plane. N no, I can feed myself. Nope. Sick people don't get to argue. Open up. Is this fever getting worse because of her? How's it taste? It's good. Glad to hear it. Now take your meds and get some sleep. She's more caring than I thought. The next morning. Phew. Feeling a lot better. Karen? Has she been taking care of me all night? Thanks. <sighs> huh? Did her face just get red? Is she awake? <sighs> I'm totally asleep. Nobody talks that clearly in their sleep. <sighs> Sh shut up. It's not like I was happy you patted my head or anything. Or that your smell was comforting so I pretended to sleep. Not at all! What the heck are you talking about? A anyway, you feeling better? <gasps> Doesn't look like you have a fever, but your face is still kind of red. It's nothing. I'm going back to work today. This girl is bad for my heart, but I should thank her properly. That night. I'm home. Here, 
thanks for taking care of me. Huh? You said you liked strawberry cake, right? You remembered. Thanks. That makes me so happy. Man, she's really cute. And she's actually nice, too. Dinner's ready, so go wash up, all right? Y yeah Man, why is my heart beating so fast around her lately? Could it be I'm into her? Hello? Oh, Riku, how's living together? Uh, it's going okay, I guess. That's good to hear. Karin seemed really down before the arranged meeting. Wait, really? Yeah, we've been talking about it for a year now. What? But when we talked to the Aoki family, Karin found out. I asked her, if you don't have someone you like, why not go on a matchmaking date? But she refused. Wait, she had someone she liked? Yeah, but just before graduation, she started getting really down. Apparently, she got dumped. Uh -huh. Her parents watched over her for a while, but she couldn't feel better. So to help her move forward, we brought up the matchmaking again. At first, she wasn't keen. But when we told her it was to help her move on, she agreed to at least meet. So it's great if things are moving forward. Keep it up. Y yeah I can't believe she had someone she liked. Next day. Am I just a replacement for the guy she liked? Riku? Why have you been avoiding me since yesterday? I'm not avoiding you. I gotta get to work. Uh, okay. After work. <sighs> Couldn't focus at all today. Hey, Riku? You guys are from the Red Princess. You're living with the boss now, right? But how do you know that? We've been keeping in touch. We're just glad she's doing better. What's that supposed to mean? Didn't you know? The boss waited for you all day that showdown day. <gasps> yeah, but you never showed. She was so down after that. That was my fault. We tried everything to cheer her up, but nothing worked. We were worried. Some of us even talked about taking you down. So why didn't you? Well, the boss got better before we did anything. She was happy when she told us she started living with you. No way! Sorry, I gotta go! Wait, Rico! If I'm right, then the person she liked is... Knock it off already. That voice! Quit bugging me, you creep! Don't be so mean! I'm just trying to cheer you up because you looked so down! Plus, you're hot. I'm not interested. Get lost. What'd you say? Back off! Whoa! If you lay a finger on her, you're dead meat! B Riku! You again? But I've got backup this time. Ha! <laughs> You'll need ten times as many to take me down! Yeah. I'm in two. So make that twenty times more. You're dead meat! Get him, boys! You got it! Let's go! Riku! Ow, ow, ow. Are you okay? What the? Why's the Koiwa guy here? You idiots know who this is? He's our former boss! What? You mean the guy who wiped out entire gangs in a single night? Yeah, well, we outnumber you if we all gang up on him. Boss, you alright? Now the Red Princess is here! Hey! What do you think you're doing to our former boss? You keep this up, we're gonna wreck ya. This one too? The legend who united all the crazy gangs into Red Princess? Ugh. We won't mess with you anymore. Just let us go. Cory, don't leave us. Don't ditch us. You okay? Yeah. Sorry for the trouble. I should be the one apologizing. I didn't keep my promise back in high school. You remembered the promise. Yeah, but I couldn't make it. That day, my mom collapsed, and I had to go to the hospital. Why didn't you tell me? We didn't have each other's contact info back then. 
I was visiting my mom every day. I didn't have time to look for you. Should have realized sooner that you were waiting. No, it wasn't about the fight. I wanted to settle my feelings. I've liked you this whole time. <sighs> At first you annoyed me, but then I saw you helping that shy kid getting picked on. And I kept seeing you help others, fighting for the weak. Knowing that, I started liking you more and more. You never showed it. Couldn't. We were on opposite sides. <sighs> if the boss fell for the enemy leader, it ruined the team. So I wanted to settle it on the final day, tell you the truth and end the rivalry. So that's why. After we met again at the arranged marriage, I didn't know how to be honest. I thought you rejected me. I was scared to ask why you didn't show up. Sorry for not being honest till now. We should apologize too. Guys, if we noticed sooner, you wouldn't have had to struggle so much. Guess we don't have to fight anymore. I've seen Red Princess helping people around town. Yeah, we're on the same page. I should have realized how you felt sooner. If we hadn't been rivals, maybe I'd have noticed my own feelings earlier. Wait, you mean... I... I've fallen for you too. So, how do you feel about me now? I, um... Come on, boss. Now's the time to be honest. I... I know, uh... I... I like you too, Riku. So from now on... Let's stick together. And just like that, we became a real couple. After that, the rivalry between the Koiwakai and the Red Princess ended. Both teams were originally formed to protect the weak. With similar goals, we became leaders without realizing it. Now, our underlings plan to cooperate following the same mission. Other gangs causing trouble around town have calmed down thanks to our efforts. And as for us, a few months later, it, it's finally happening. I'm so nervous. I, I'm coming in. So, how do I look? It might not suit me. No way, you look amazing. R really? Thanks. Uh, you're more honest now, huh? Yeah. I figured out being honest makes you happier. Let's be happy together, okay? Yeah, this time I'll definitely keep this promise. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.